Oh, oh that's right. Right. Yeah. What is she doing? All right, tip it. Yeah, I'm gonna need her soon. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Yeah, I got that coming in another four minutes. I'll be here, Lord. Enjoy your sleep while you can. <laughs> I'm only three and a half years old. I have one of them too. Oh, <laughs> so you know. Oh, Lord. Now this is the Hydrotech hot water pressure washer. The whole trailer package came from Hydrotech. Custom painted your guys' color. Uh, 725 cc Kohler engine. Recommended to always use the Kohler oil filters and synthetic oil. It only takes two quarts of oil. You may be it. I've had these things after over 4,000 hours of engine. If they're treated right. The electric start. Biggest key is, you know, go ahead and check your engine oil. Back in here, yellow dipstick. Pump oil also have a dipstick on it over here, the yellow cap. Okay, okay. So check your dipstick. There's also a sight glass, it's kind of hard to see behind the pump. You may need a little like mechanic mirror to look in there. Be able to check that. The standard 12 volt battery, we run a you know, class 24 in there, so it's a commercial battery. It's got 700 crate cranking amp so just use a good good battery system on it. We do have a choke. There is a throttle but it's disconnected. I've had somebody take it and get it fixed. You don't want to do that. Because it ha this actually has a 3000 watt onboard generator that a generator has to be fixed RPM and a lot of times if they got the idle down it's because there's no load. But you're always kind of going to have a load so you don't want to be messing with the RPM. It's always got to be set at like 3450 under load 3250. Uh, typically your red fuel tank is your gas tank. Your white tank is actually a diesel fuel tank. You can also use kerosene or farmer fuel if you're just burning it. And that's where it happens up here, just an igniter like your burner, you know, for type. It's a diesel fire burner, 120 volt. There's actually behind this panel here, the 110 volt plug right here. That actually is running the vacuum recovery recycling system on the back. Also, if you need lights at night or some additional power, uh, without the recycling, you, can do, you know, we recommend about a thousand watts of power off of that as an auxiliary. The real part is that you know it's running the burner, and that makes for the best heating system on the market too. Uh, it's all stainless steel. Just try not to have any harsh acid attached, you know, attack it or whatever, chlorine or whatever. Just try to keep the cleaner look good for years. The heating coil's got a lifetime warranty on it. It's a limited lifetime warranty. It's the only one that's got that. Double insulated coil, so for up north, it's going to get hotter, quicker, more fuel efficient. In a huge way, these things, I've seen them save up to $12 an hour in diesel fuel alone. The average is about 8 bucks an hour saving. So it actually really is uh, the best you can get. Your batteries here. We do have a strainer filter here for the water tank. Don't screw it from the bottom. On the other side of the tank is a uh, drain valve. We don't care between the tank. We do have a muffler deflector and rain cap on this. Make sure it's in good order. You don't want to have any heat, you know, blown into the tank and hurting the tank. So keep an eye on that. We've got a quick drain hose here for the engine oil. You just open a valve and you can drain your oil. Your filter is here, so it's really easy to maintain. We recommend every 50 hours. Typically, you can get from Michigan to Florida and back in less than 50 hours, around 50 hours. That's a lot of run time for just a twin cylinder engine. It's also air-cooled, which means they run at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not like your typical 220 that your engine runs. So it's actually uh, designed well. You do have a fuel filter for the engine. You have a, what they call a Raycor fuel filter for the diesel fuel. It's also a water separator, so you can open that up and let any water out there from condensation out of there. Keep an eye on both. They normally change every 100 hours. And then your pump oil, they say every 300 hours that you can do it by the season, but try not to go over 300 hours. First oil change, well, you know, you could also do it at 100 like we recommend. Belt driven pump and it's also a belt driven generator down in the bottom here. So if you don't have heat, 
couple things you can check. On this machine, you can fire up the machine, go to the back unit and check the vacuum to see if the vacuum comes on on the backward carburetor. If this is dead and you have no heat, you probably get a broken belt or maybe an issue like a capacitor on the generator. But you do have an easy way to test your, for that. Keep it in simple technique if you probably just out of, out of diesel fuel. It picks up from the top, so if it looks like it's got some, or you just add gas and diesel, so make sure that's the first thing you do. Check your water supply, make sure you always have water in the tank. Is this similar to a tuck map system? Pretty, yeah, pretty close, cool. yeah. And then, um, you got your thermostat control and your on-off switch in the front here. Typically, we're ready to go. Um, sure. Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah. What happens with this wing? I'm working inside the house in the, in the basement. It should be okay it's because not it, too long it's, it's, it's wing. not too bad. It normally can run well at the horizontal burner, so your electronics are covered here. What about the Your kohler is good. It normally, they'll, they're on commercial mowers and all. You okay. should be fine. You may want a little WD-40, which is a water displacement, to spray that on the ignition gable if you have to. Okay. If it's really got to work in a real torrential situation. Okay. Um, the back recovery unit will actually recover 12 gallons a minute, and it'll filter eight. So it'll keep up with this machine without a problem. And uh, you've got electric reels for the spoiled. I mean, it's easy with electric reels on the trailer. You got two 50 foot vacuum hoses, they're two inch. And there's some extra little tools that are in the truck along with that back surface cleaner that took to. So typically, I got some extra tips on the gun too. Um, both hoses are going to be live, so I've got two high pressure lines, so you can have two operators, say you're popping chewing gum at a strip center. You normally use two yellow tips and just pop gum as you go. If you want to melt gum, don't blow chunks out of it. So you, you normally want to be at about 180 degrees to achieve that. This machine will do that for you. And then uh, when you start the engine, the pump and the generator are spinning. So you always want to release the pressure on the gun before you try to crank it. You're going to need to choke it.
Timer for demonstration if you get too wet. Yeah. Because you can't get that wet. Yeah. They don't like it. You can change without shutting the machine down. Now this one's kind of cool because with that style, you can see there's a lot of cleanup pushing, moving the dirt. You gotta get it where you need to go. With this, what's the difference between these attachments that you were doing? Obviously, okay. that's the edge, that's the front. Water broom on the front, edge cleaner here, and the chewing gum remover is on the back. What the chewing gum remover does, it's actually sit six steps to come down and slice it almost like a slice yeah. You know, That's your best back. for like the surface. No, this is just for chewing gum. Okay. You got the deck. Oh, the that's surface. working anyway. So when you run it. Working. Well, this normally runs. You normally run one tool at a time. So you can run the surface cleaner. Say you get out strip center. There's a piece of gum. There's a piece of gum. You can go run over that gum and just pop the chewing gum, and then keep surface clean, and then you can come back and rinse. So right there, it's set up for surface cleaning. Right. right. Well, oh, the, yes. the right hand gun does the surface cleaning. Okay. The left hand does all your accessories. So this, depending on what this hose is attached to, is either the water broom, the edger, or the gum remover. Okay, but you can't use both hands as a You can, but it's not going to be real efficient. Okay. Take you want to do one or the other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, the hose here. Yep. What happens? There's a lot of money. You can't run high right. Right. This is all coming out at full. You have three assistants then. I do, I do. And they're beautiful. Right now. Uh, they didn't go with that chemical package on it. Um, we're working on something because it's an eight gallon a minute going to the schooner for the whole downstream of the jacket. Well, what happened is it came up back. Downstream kind of needs no pre low pressure to open the check valve to drop the soap. Mm -hmm. I got one coming in. We're going to test it. If you guys need it, we can get up with that. What I already done in that case, is I made this one next up here. So Does that have the waist on it? It's just picked one. We usually take out the voice. One week because we end up doctoring them. Uh, we'll take the voice out and then voice over the top. Oh, that's the right. Right. So we can just gas is gas. Gas is for the engine. Diesel is for the burner. Right. To go and sell the stuff. You can use it. I work in this kind of community. We don't have by gas only selling them, but any gas for the engine. I mean, standard unleaded or whatever. Or you know, we'll just give it. This is going to be the video. We'll give you a video and it'll show what it is. Um, and then I mean, like, you can you just check right the belt now, first. Like, check the old. I think so we might have something I'll ask them. Because what I would do is ask them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And say this is what we can offer. Exactly. And then if we have to send the video, send the video to everybody. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you can make it. Yeah, I know. No problem. Send them. Or you can turn the burner on. What do we run this? The vacuum will start to run. When I turn the switch on. Check this out. Okay. All right, hold on. But if you're going to get a prior to that. Yeah, that would be the best thing. 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 Yeah, that would be the best thing.
purple.